Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how to bring an unresponsive iPad or iPhone back from the dead um, instead of turning it into a very expensive coaster or dinner plate. So here's how to do that. Okay, let's assume that this iPhone is stuck. Now it doesn't matter if it's stuck on an app screen or if it's stuck on the Apple logo when it's booting up. Either way, um, we need to get it to turn off. So what you would do is you're going to hold down the power and the home button at the same time and keep holding it for quite a while until the device actually turns off. You'll see that the Apple logo comes on. This is kind of like it rebooting. Keep holding until it turns off completely and it stays black for a second, then you can let go. Now the device is off. Okay, then we're going to, uh, while it's off, plug it in via USB. And with it plugged in via USB, we're gonna hold down uh, power and home Keep holding them. As soon as the screen turns off like that, let go of just the power button. So you're continuing to hold the home button and keep holding that until iTunes tells you that there is an iPhone detected in recovery mode. Uh, your iPhone will stay off, so don't worry, but this is what we need. Click OK. And then you're just going to click Restore iPhone. It's going to tell you that it needs to restore and update. Uh, you're going to click OK. It'll download whatever the latest update is and then restore your device. Once it's done, it'll eventually flash the software and then tell you that you need to activate the iPhone. So you need to put in your Apple ID, which everyone's associated with the phone, and the password and click Continue. And then you're going to have to uh, click Restore from this backup. And you could choose whichever your latest backup is um, or set up as a new iPhone. But most likely, you're going to want to restore it from the backup. So select that and click Continue and wait for it to now restore the backup. And when it eventually is done doing the backup, you might want to just click sync in iTunes to make sure that everything is all synced up. And you are then all set. Your device is back on and good to go. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.